I think this is included for us to learn something more. I think there's more symbolism going on here. There's a lot of symbolism in the Bible. Uh, but I can't tell you exactly what it means. Why is it referring to lapping like a dog? I know that there's going to be some meaning there. I don't know it, but I, but I will say this, okay? When you come across stories like this in the Bible, first of all, if you don't understand them, don't really worry about it because it's not going to be so important that like you don't know, you know, that, that there's just something totally withheld with you that now you're not going to know from the Bible that's just going to be earth shattering or life changing. Anything that's symbolic in the scripture is really just going to be supportive of some other teaching that's going to be very clear in scripture. We don't go to any symbolic references as being our source of just why we believe something. It's just a type. It's just going to be a symbol. It's just going to reinforce something else that's already plainly taught. The, the, the Bible is not just some book of stories that all just mean something way completely different than what they say and you just really have to try to figure out to the best you can what does all this stuff mean in general by and large the bible is very clear and specific and just will tell you flat out what's right what's wrong this is what you need to do this is what you need to not do and it's very clear and very straightforward and i would worry or, or just be concerned or just be aware first of all for yourself don't just go start um extrapolating things or, or, or making stuff up to make it fit so that you can make yourself sound smarter. Like I didn't go, I wasn't at home today saying, well, what can I just say to make myself look good in front of everybody? Say, oh, well, this really means this. And this really means that it's not about that. Now, if I, if I had a better understanding and I thought, you know what, I can see where all these things match up to be symbolic or something, then I would, I would say that and, and teach that. But always just be careful when you hear anyone giving an interpretation of symbolism in the Bible that's not already spelled out for you. You go to the book of Revelation, you see a lot of symbolism, but you also see a lot of explanation on the symbolism. You see the, you know, the man holding the, the, the candlestick and the candles and the candlesticks and, and, and then the reference of, okay, well, the seven candles, there are seven churches, right? And, and you have all of the... the the symbolism being spelled out for you. But it's not like that everywhere. It's not like that here. Uh, just from knowing the Bible in general, obviously we see a lot of areas where there's symbolism. I don't know the answer to this here, but I would just always be cautious when ascribing symbolic meanings, even when you hear other people saying it, because that's oftentimes where false doctrine comes from. That's one of the most prevalent places to get false doctrine is just from these areas where a lot of people in general just aren't very clear on what this means. I mean, I've heard different interpretations of this, but nothing that I could recall that it's even worth repeating just because I'm just, you know, I hear some things like, yeah, maybe, right? Like, I guess, but nothing that really clicks like, oh yeah, that, that actually looks like it's, it's right. That sounds perfect. But like I said, I, I don't, you know, I don't worry about this. I don't think you need to worry about it. Um, I would like to know better what this means. And if, any, if anyone has a you know, like, like, uh, theory on this or, or, or better, please speak to me after service. I would love to hear it. I'm interested in hearing about it, but um, I don't get myself overly worried about things like that because I just know that if it is something just symbolic, I'll pick up the truth and the teaching of whatever this symbolizes just elsewhere in Scripture. And it's going to be a lot more clear.